Right, good video for you today, nice and short one. If you go to, um, if you Google this, we'll use your favorite search engine, M0 MCX SWR calculator, you'll end up here, right? Now, before we dig into this, I'll tell you the reason behind it, because I would, as you know, particularly in the summer, I'm in and out of the field with my SWR meter, you know, and I'm designing something, you know, some sort of vertical or whatever. And I'll put the meter on it and it'll tell me, oh, I don't know. For instance, it'll tell me, oh, that's resonant at 17.5 uh, megahertz and I want it on 18.125, whatever. And then I have to work out the difference between the two on a quarter wave, take one away from the other. <laughs> Trying to find my phone to get my calculator out, you know, and it's a pain in the butt. So I ended up writing a spreadsheet uh, and the spreadsheet still exists and you can download it from uh, this link here. But uh, Aubrey, who is uh, Orbs UK on YouTube, he gave me a little online version. Now, this is even better than mine because we will do this here. It's resident now, 17.5. And I'm aiming for 18, let's say, 0.125, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Then I hit the calculate button. Now we've got a number of answers here, all right? And I'm going to tell you what they all are. Because normally, if we've got some sort of vertical wheel or dipole, it doesn't really matter, you normally create a little loop at the end, you know, to even if it's just two inches, 60 millimeters, 50 mil, at the end, just a little tiny loop. So what the calculator is doing initially is saying, if you wanted to just a quarter wave element, you can somehow remove, it says here, 13 centimeters, by the way, is about that much. You could remove 13 centimeters from it, or you could cut 20, if you've got a particularly long fold back, you cut 27, 28, which is nearly a foot off that. I'll do the same thing because we've done some experiments about, about this. This here, that distance between there and there is roughly twice of what it is if you cut it off the middle. So if you've just got a very fine adjustment to make and you've got a bit of a longer fold over, you could actually cut the fold over and it tells you here. If you've got a three-quarter element, so let's say this is uh, 7.2 megahertz antenna, and you're trying to tune it on 21, it's telling you here to cut 41 centimeters if it's a three-quarter element, all right? And if you're just tuning only the three-quarter wave fold back, this bit here, which I will put in dotted line, it says cut 82, uh, 44, which is quite long, so two and a half, three feet nearly. So you can use that, bearing in mind that 13.74 is the difference on a quarter wave. If you're doing a full wave loop, for instance, just multiply that by four, okay? Uh, could you use this on an end fed? Mm, yes, you could. If it was an end fed, it would just be double that look. The end fed generally is a half wave end fed, isn't it? So there we are. So that's how to use the SWR calculator and tune any wire dipole, or aluminium actually for that matter, you've got knocking around the back garden. Oh, it's even got a bit of a history here. I didn't know that. There we are. He just sent me the code and I flooded it in. So that's the updated SWR calculator and it kind of replaces an older one I did uh, a couple of years ago. All right, have a good day. See you soon, guys. Bye for now. Well, look at this.